Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have a special guest with me for this reaction. My guy Drew right here. We are going to react to Nirvana, Where Did You Sleep Last Night, the live on MTV Plugged. So let's get into it right now. Uh, let me give you real quick, actually. Let me give you some background. Because this, this is, a, this is a, the last live recorded performance from Nirvana. Uh, MTV, they did the series Unplugged. I don't know if you remember the Unplugged series. Yeah, very popular. It was with, uh, like Alicia Keys. Uh, think, many, yeah. So for like this generation, think NPR. Think Tiny Desk. That's a good one. Yeah. Essentially, it was the Tiny Desk of, of the older generation. And they had Nirvana on there. And anyone who knows Nirvana, Nirvana grunge scene, a uh, lot of guitar, heavy drums. Uh, Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters fame featured heavy in this video. He was Nirvana's drummer. That's where he got his start. That's crazy. Uh, right? Um, Dave Grohl, like two of the biggest bands in rock history. <laughs> That's great. It's wild. But this was a performance that MTV had tried to get Nirvana for years. Um, Nirvana was hot at this time. They had just come off their second album, or third album, sorry. Third studio album. Kurt Cobain was fresh off of, he was... He had just kicked heroin. So he was already a troubled soul, I guess you would say. And kicking the drugs while also dealing with his, who his wife, after the fact, admitted uh, he was dealing with Questions of infidelity in his marriage, uh, trying to raise a daughter, trying to just be a family guy while kicking heroin. Mm. This was in the middle of, of all that going on. He didn't have his wife, Courtney Love, or his daughter at this performance. And part of the suspected reason why is the song choice with this at the end he chose this this was the last song they did in their set this is the 30th anniversary of the release of this album it was back in 1994 um and it's i mean it's critically acclaimed the only knock on the album in retrospect has been mtv was mad that they didn't do more of their big hits more of their well-known hits they did a lot of covers they did a lot of stuff that they wanted to do uh, they they really explored the space, which ended up paying off beautifully. But Kurt ended with this song, "Where Did You Sleep Last Night?" It's it's a loose cover of his his favorite performer, uh, an old blues performer. This song is about a a husband who died. The night before. He's singing the next day after he died. Mm. And he's asking his wife, where did you sleep last night? Where were you? He's trying. He believes in, in marriage even after death. And he's trying to convince his wife to stay true to that. To the marriage. And that's why he's asking, well, where did you sleep last night? He wants to make sure that his memory is going to last and that, that his wife is going to stay married even after death with him. Kurt took his own twist on this and instead of using it as a plea to stay married and, and love me and keep loving me even after I'm gone, he twisted it and kind of turned it into more of an accusatory song and kind of asking where did you sleep last night because you were cheating on me mm. and because you've been untrue to me so I give all that background because it is a darker song a slower song but this man in the last verse of the song especially the emotion that's poured in, like we, we talked about with the Rage Against the Machine, 
you can feel every bit that this man is going through in the way that he is singing that last verse. Uh, famous singer Neil Young described this song, this performance of this song. He said that Kurt Cobain performing this song was not human. He said he was something else. He said he was a werewolf the way that he was howling this song. Mm. So for someone's performance to be described as not human, I mean, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into this right now. So, uh, of course, I know Nirvana. I know the big hit, uh, Smells Mm -hmm. Like Teen Spirit. Um, But this is my actual, like, first time seeing Kurt uh, Kurt Cobain live and actually hearing his voice, uh, that different song other than the one I know. So Mm. it's kind of like my introduction to Kurt. So I'm really, really excited, especially with the backstory that we just got from this. Um, but yeah, let's get into this right now. Hopefully we do enough on your sub with this reaction. Yes. Like the video. And if you guys want more Nirvana, let me know in the comment section. We'll try to get to it. Yes. But let's get into it. So he says, in the pines, in the pines, where the sun don't shine, I'll shiver the whole night through. Uh, The pines Mm. is a reference to hell. Wow. Like I said, the the original version of this song, well, one of the original versions, the song goes back to, uh, the earliest recording was, I believe, 1926. It goes back to the 1800s. Like, it was an old folk song, you know, passed down through generations. But... It's it's known that the the pines are referred to as hell. So he's saying in the pines and the pines where the sun don't ever shine, I'll shiver the whole night through. So he's telling her like, yeah, you're out there sleeping around, and <laughs> tell me where like don't he says, my girl, my girl, don't lie to me. Yeah, and then says, yeah, I'm down here shivering away in hell. Yeah. 
the pines, in the pines where the sun don't ever shine. I will shiver the whole night through. Oh, that's cool. that's hard. My girl, my girl, don't lie to me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wasn't ready for that, bro. This is the part that, like I said, is he, Neil Young said during this whole stretch right here, mm. my man was not human. He was a werewolf howling. Part of what sticks out to me in this performance is when you do have the, when you're armed with the backstory, watch how he sings. Watch how he his eyes are closed a lot. He's not no icon. He's very just. It, yeah, it's it's crazy. It's not the it's not the screaming and the the stuff you might be. No man, this man is. He's like he's he's one with the lyrics on the song. It's like he's like he's canceling everything out right now, and it's just him. Dude, no one else is there. He's got his guitar and his wow. heart, bro. Like this and this. All of that, just the build up too, and the calm, and the even though it's intense and it's it's a very heavy sounding song, and then at just, the end, it just goes, bro. Oh man! And like you said, you weren't expecting it. He hits bro, you right. out of nowhere <laughs> with the switch. Let's get into this. Frick. Right there, nah, dog. After he hits the, after he hit the, the lot, the, uh, and then the look. It's it's the Yo. that voice, how he tweaks it with the the pause and just how he carries it back in. Like, oh my goodness, gives the. And then he look and like eyes. With I swear my man's looking right at his wife and like really? he's looking at her like I know. With, I know. Yeah, these lyrics with the the scream and the the power and the just the the raw the rawness of yes. his voice. Yes. This shit hits way harder, bro. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Right there. No. So, one of the funniest parts and the the coolest to me about this performance. So, Kurt finishes. They're done. He goes backstage. He signs a couple autographs. They show it on camera. He signs a couple autographs, oh, okay. and he goes backstage, right? Word has it. He goes backstage. MTV. Everyone comes up to him. Kurt. Get, come on. Go. Let's get... Encore, encore. My man says, no, like, I, no, no, we sucked. The whole performance sucked. No, I don't want to, I'm good. 
I'm not going back out there. Come on, wow. Kurt. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. They keep coming at him. He finally says, no, I'm never going to do better than that. <sighs> and he was talking about that last song. Oof. He knew what he did, man. And the, unfortunately, shortly after, he took his own life. Which oh, makes the performance man. even more crazy and chilling with all the backstory. And then knowing it was his last recorded performance, knowing that the backstage that he says, like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing anything else. That was it. That's the lasting image you're going to have of me live that's, performing. That's super sad, but holy crap, what a way to go out. Like, that's, that's so crazy, man. thousand percent, man. What a song. Like, what a performance. The song is great. Don't get it twisted. But the nah. the way that man performed that song and in that setting, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. This just opened my eyes to a whole, <laughs> like, what have I been missing from this man? Um, I, had, I had no idea that he had this in him. Like, it's yeah. crazy. That, that was insane. Yeah. It was, it's a great performance. Blew my mind. Yes. We'll get, we'll get back to more Nirvana. Especially if they want it. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for just checking checking us out for this reaction. Again, um, yeah, if you guys want more Nirvana, let me know. Let us know in the comment section. We definitely will do that. I and mean, we might just hop on more Nirvana without you guys <laughs> even telling us. I mean, this is insane. Created a fan today. That's yeah, what we're for here sure. for, baby. Um, but yeah, hopefully we did enough to earn your sub with this reaction. Like the video, go share it. But thank you guys for just tuning in today. Yes. And keep it a buck. This shit. My shit different, making the kills to pay out the bills. You see the spots we living in. Tried your best to recreate me, but we not equivalent. Everybody hit Fugazi, y'all are not as sizzling. Rushing like.